is x an integer statement 1 then x is equal to root 5 x upon root 5 is an integer and the answer is no x is not an integer and when x is equal to 0 some students will miss this case and assume that statement 1 is sufficient but there is this exception here when x is equal to 0 0 upon root 5 is 0 which is an integer and we get yes that x is an integer no and yes both are possible so statement 1 is not sufficient look at statement 2 x upon root 7 is not an integer so if x is equal to 1 1 upon root 7 is not an integer and we get yes x is an integer and if we take x is equal to root 2 let's say then root 2 upon root 7 is not an integer and we are getting no as an answer that no x is not an integer similarly if we had taken say 1.2 or something again we would get 1.2 upon root 7 is not an integer and no x is not an integer 1.2 is not an integer so once again yes and no are both possible for statement 2 also so statement 2 is not sufficient however on combining see the exception that we had here the only case in which we were getting yes is the case when x is equal to 0 but 0 upon root 7 will be an integer so 0 does not satisfy the second case so on combining we cannot take x is equal to 0 so this case will be eliminated and on combining therefore the cases where we were getting yes a case of 0 and such cases of 1 etc will have to be eliminated you will only get such cases as x is equal to root 5 or something like 2 root 5 3 root 5 something like that so you will get only no as the answer you will not get a yes and therefore on combining we can say that yes x is not an integer remember no is very much an answer and c therefore is the correct answer choice don't worry about this this is just a dummy answer the right answer is option c